Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome to my channel. Today's episode, first of all, you might say, Ryan, why are you at Moonshine Harley Davidson and they're not even open? Look at this. Well, I'll tell you why. Today's episode, it's about, so you think you're too small for a bagger. You think you're too short for a bagger. Well, I'm gonna prove you wrong on this episode today. <laughs> open yet our banks are open 24 hours 365 we're always here for you there you go all right so here's how I'm gonna prove you guys wrong if you think you're too short if you think you don't weigh enough to ride a bagger let me introduce you to Courtney she's up here in sales at moonshine Harley-Davidson Courtney what do you ride <laughs> so this is my bike this is a 2015 road glide and a lot of people ask me, should I buy new or used? The reason I bought used is this was my first bagger. So I was a little intimidated by it. I have had this bike since March. I have put on over 9,000 miles on it. I really kicked myself in the ass. I should have bought a brand new one with the miles I put on it and how much I love my bike. Um, I am only five foot zero, 120 pounds. So as you can see, I'm not very big. The bike has been lowered. But as Ryan said, I work here at Moonshine. I ride all of the bikes, the full bagger limiteds, the road glides that are not lowered, all of them. So it is definitely in your head that you can't ride these motorcycles because they're very easy. Perfect. And what we will do is I'll get a little footage and show you guys because you just heard her. She said that this particular bike right here has been lowered just to make it more comfortable for her. But she also rides on a daily basis she puts these baggers out, these full-size baggers that have not been lowered, that are stock bikes. So, like she said, it is in your head. You can absolutely ride the bike. These bikes now, the 2020 bikes, if you saw my previous Road, Road Glide special video, they're so balanced. They just want to stand up, don't they? They, they absolutely, really do. Even when you go to a, uh, a red light, right before you go to put your, put your feet down, the bike doesn't want to fall over. So let's get to that footage of Courtney riding these bikes. Ta-da! All right guys, this is going to be a 2019 Road Glide standard. Now this is going to be the standard height of a Harley Davidson touring model. With this bike, I'm gonna show you a couple different tricks of how to get it off the kickstand. With being a shorter rider, there are some obstacles you have to come over, i.e. kickstand and also just getting the bike off that kickstand in the first place. So we're gonna roll into that here quick. All right, so first trick that I teach people when we're looking at bikes, even if you're a new rider and you're just looking at a Sportster or something very small, this comes in handy no matter what bike you're looking at. So first thing I like to start off with is take your right hand, put it on the brake, and make sure that front brake is secure. This is gonna defeat the bike from rolling forward or backwards, which is obviously a safety thing. Now you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna push the bars all the way to the right. And I cannot touch my right side right now. I'm sure you can't see that. So obviously I cannot touch, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your left foot, push off, and then just straighten out the handlebars. Very easy. And it's a lot faster of a motion once you start doing it, you know, daily activity wise. Now the next obstacle that a lot of people have is being a short rider, as you can see, I can't get that kickstand. Luckily enough, your floorboards do pop up. So what I'll do is I'll pop up that floorboard and I will actually just take my foot on that little rubber grommet and pop it up. Super easy. Floorboard back down, ignition on. Flip the bike on, ensure that it is in neutral, but just to be safe, I like to hold in that clutch. Front brake, you kind of get that nose dive and then 
come to a stop. Stop so that you can leave. Don't stop as if you're coming. So if you see that there's a hill, don't go where you have to back the bike up backwards up the hill. Park it so that you can let the bike with the weight just roll itself backwards. Park the bike where it's gonna be easy for you to park it. If you need to look around for a parking spot for five minutes, that is a lot simpler than having to pick a motorcycle up. If you have to ask somebody, hey, I'm not quite yet comfortable on this bike, will you park it for me? Or will you take it out of a parking spot? That is fine. There is nothing wrong with asking for help. Another trick I like to teach people is use the motor to your advantage. This is a machine. It's only gonna do what you tell it to do. Now, if you do end up coming up too hot to a stop or your bars are too turned and you're going too slow and you tip a bike over, there are more videos and Ryan will do those later with you of how to pick those motorcycles up. It's not using your weight to your, you know, pushing the bike forward or pulling it. There is a trick. So even if you think, hey, I just bought this big bike, I'm going to drop it. That's okay. We all do it. Cordy gave you some fantastic tips and she just proved to you that you don't have to be over five feet tall. And how much did you say that you weighed? 120. 120 pounds to ride a bagger, okay? So 2019, 2020, you can do it. Like you said, it's all in your head. I appreciate you watching today's episode. If you have not already, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, guys. Oh, stop.